हॅलो आय एम डॉक्टर मंजिरी वळसंकर डायरेक्टर भिडे हॉस्पिटल टेस्टिव्ह बेबी सेंटर नवी पेठ पुणे टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस अ व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट क्वेश्चन विच इज व्हेरी कॉमनली आस्ड बाय माय पेशंट्स अँड देअर रिलेटिव्ह डॉक्टर वॉट इज द सक्सेस रेट ऑफ आय व्ही एफ इन युअर सेंटर नाव इट इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट टू नो दॅट द सक्सेस रेट ऑफ एनी टेस्टिव्ह बेबी प्रोसिजर डिपेंड्स मेनली ऑन फाईव्ह इम्पॉर्टंट फॅक्टर्स एज ऑफ द पेशंट the ovarian reserve capacity of that patient which includes her amh andral follicular count and her folliculogenesis capacity whether her tubes are open and whether she requires a test tube baby procedure it may be a basic procedure like ivf or it may be the most advanced technology like icsi with frozen blastocyst embryo transfers fourth is what is her age if she is a young patient less than 35 years of age or she is an elderly 38 41 42 years old patient and another most important factor which decides the success rate is the husband's semen parameters so the success rates of test tube babies globally are around 40 to 60% it is never 100% if someone is telling you that the success rate is 100% one needs to introspect because this is a artificial assisted reproduction technology for patients who cannot conceive naturally so it cannot be full proof even though the success rates are around 60% in the best of the centers we need to understand that there are around 30 to 40% of the patients who fail in spite of ivf and the success rate of ivf depends very much on on various confounding variable factors so all in all to simplify this if a patient is a young patient less than 35 years with a very good ovarian reserve a good amh afc without any complicating factors and an excellent semen count of the husband then the success rate of the patient is around 45 to 60% it if we use a better technology more than ivf like if we use icsi laser assisted hatching blastocyst technology or frozen blastocyst embryo transfers this success rate can be elevated by another 5 to 10% if a patient is more than 35 years with a very poor ovarian reserve her amh is less than 1 antral follicular count is less than 5 husband semen is not very good pertaining to the count motility and morphology and if she is more elderly if she is in her 40s with added factors like fibroids endometriosis or adhesions in the uterus etc then the success rate of test tube baby in these patients is as low as 20 to 30% so whenever you ask your doctor about the success rates of test tube babies be very specific because it is the success rate for this particular patient just like all our fingers are different different patients have different success rates for the same used technology and that is extremely important to understand because there are so many factors which are variables in different human beings which have to be considered before considering the success rate of a particular ivf technology thank you